What's up, everybody? Scarpo again. <laughs> How does this world make you feel? How does this world make you feel? How does this world make you feel? Let's uh, back this up a little bit. There we go. <laughs> How do you feel to live on this planet? Do you feel like a happy human? Do you feel like this is a good place to live? Do you feel like our species belongs here? Or do you believe that uh, for some reason we're just some kind of mutant race that uh, along the way lost ourselves? Do you believe that we are here planted by aliens? Or do you believe that we were here because aliens crossbred with the existing species perhaps long ago? Do you believe that we're here because 6,000 years ago God decided to make the earth in seven days? Or do you believe in uh, Krishna and uh, the gods and the chariots and the various blue, green, yellow, and purple gods of the world that everyone seems to understand and know are the only gods? When I look back through history, the historical research I've done in my life, which is only over the last probably 15, 20 years, because when I was in high school I had no interest in history. At least I wasn't programmed from the schools to learn their version of history. Uh, even from a kid I always knew the Columbus story was bullshit. I was always, uh, you know, yearning to understand a deeper understanding of our history, but realized only in the last 10 years that no matter how much you research, it's still just research that's based on other research, that's based on translations, that's based on lost texts and uh, lost cultures. Many libraries have been burned. Many things have been lost. And uh, along the way, we have these mysteries and we wonder if we ever were really greater than we are today. But uh, So uh, all of these different viewpoints about history, about God, about creation, we have this arrogance to think that we can understand it all, whether it be through um, through a drug, <laughs> or through a book, or through a, a course, or a study, or some spiritual guide, or guru, and most people know that's bullshit. There's no easy path to enlightenment. Of course, being a proponent of psychedelics, I would say that uh, they open a door temporarily. I, I've always said it's like putting your foot in the door of enlightenment and seeing a state that you could reach. And I believe that psychedelics have evolved with us in order to show us that there's something greater, to give us a glimpse of the potential within, the potential to see everything for what it is. Yet, I'd still realize that nobody could live in that state forever. And if you did, you would end up being one of those gurus sitting in a hut somewhere with your thoughts completely everywhere at once because uh, part of being human is just living, okay? I couldn't sit here and make this video if I was constantly aware of everything and had a constant free state of awareness, you know, and knew everything. I mean, it, it, it doesn't make sense. Uh, just like I could never sit here and smile and have a good emotional moment if I hadn't had a shitty moment in the past and had that balance and understood it. When I have a good time, I take advantage of it. When I have a bad time, I know that the good times will come again. This balance is one of the basic principles of Buddhism, of Zen, to understand that uh, everything is laughable because in the end, the biggest fear, the only real fear, is pain and death. And if you learn that that's just uh, nothing more than an experience, rather than something good or bad, then you can start to see where I'm coming from. Of course, anybody who's been in pain knows that it's a bad experience in the way we view bad. Nobody wants to be in pain. But anyway, we all have our own viewpoints. We all have our own realities. And uh, it's just an interesting concept to wonder about where we come from. The true reality is that the real histori his history of the universe beyond mankind, beyond this planet, billions, billions of years ago, trillions of years ago, if you want to use man's version of time. But uh, anyway, many concepts to ponder and many lives to uh, bounce it off of and express it with other people, which when I say, you know, what matters to you, what's important, you know, that's a statement of everyone's, everyone matters. When they say that everyone has a purpose, 
to me that doesn't mean that everyone has an actual purposeful reason that they're going to make some particular contribution, but rather that each person bounces ideas off of each other. And that's what makes us human. So it's like the kids are calling. I better